Now let's go back and see how the Hive Crow fire turned out. To maintain accountability and span of control, all incoming resources were instructed to report to the designated staging area at Ben's Crow Inn on Warm Springs Avenue. They were properly briefed by the staging area manager, assigned to a division supervisor, given the division frequency, and cleared to enter the fire area. The ground crews established an anchor point at the point of origin and then split up on both flanks. Helicopter bucket drops and retardant was used to cool the fire's edge. Engines were sent up Highland Valley Road and began direct attack on both the south and northern flanks. A structure protection group was established and began structure protection on nearby residences. Local law enforcement was used to close Warm Springs Avenue and prepare for possible evacuations. The bulk of the containment and suppression efforts were over within five to six hours. The fire was finally contained at 874 acres. The High Crow fire was successful because of good pre-planning with all the cooperators, uh, getting together each year, uh, pre-season and doing uh, cross-training, learning what each other's capabilities and limitations are, um, utilizing lessons learned from previous fires, and just getting to know who the major players of each agency really is and being able to work together and coming up with uh, standard protocols, for example, the staging areas and the frequency plans and putting those into, uh, into play, utilizing them throughout. We've set up a steering committee, through, which we call the 80 County Steering Committee, where all agencies are represented, the city fire departments, the counties, um, all the federal agencies and state agencies are all represented one of the best things we've been able to draw out of the uh, Ada County Steering Committee is the pre-programmed frequency plan. And what that's been able to let us do is when we arrive on scene, it doesn't matter if you're a city, county, state, or federal agency, Channel 10, for example, is Channel 10 throughout. Instead of arriving on scene and trying to pre try to program your radio, it's already established. So everyone has a common knowledge of what that specific channel is. During preseason, we get together and do scenarios through tactical decision games and sand tables, and we've actually utilized the high crow fire as a staff ride. From the AERs, we've learned so much of that's where we're getting what our capabilities are, what their capabilities are, and what each other's limitations are as well, and how we can really integrate each other. The successful operation on the high crow fire did not just happen by chance. It was the result of good pre-planning, learning from previous fire incidents, and cooperation with local resources. Let's get into our groups and discuss the necessity of good pre-planning in your local area.